Hello and welcome back to another video guys. So in today's video I'm going to show you how you can return to your stock Android, undo your device and lock the bootloader of your OnePlus 7, 70, 70 Pro and 7 Pro as well. So make sure to watch the video till the very end and if you have any doubt you can go on my Instagram there will be a link in the description below and message me there I will help you out for sure. So currently I'm on call to us which is a custom room and my bootloader is unlocked as well. So I will show you the exact method how you can return to your stock Android and just undo your device and even regain your warranty after that as you will lock your bootloader again. So make sure to watch the video till the very end to avoid any confusion. So my name is Rohit and you are watching Sneptech so let's get started. So first go to the link in description below and you will be on this XTS site for your OnePlus 7, 70, 70 Pro and 7 Pro whatever it will be after that you can click either of these sites I will go on AFH Android file host and you will be on this site after that you can download you can download the ROM as per your need so if you are living in Europe you can download this and if you are living in India you can download India otherwise if you stay in any other part of the country you can download the global version so I'll download the global version over here because I'm in India so I'll just click on it and click on click here to download start download and once I do that it will be searching for mirrors and give you the best server possible so you can see here primary download mirror Virginia USA just click on that as you can see now my download has been started so once your download is complete just go, go to that folder where you have downloaded the file and just right click on it go to your preferable zip extractor software I am using here 7zip so click on extract here to extract all the contents of the zip file and as you can see all the files have been extracted from this zip file so if you want you can delete this zip file so as you can see currently i'm running on a custom os called call to us and i'll be bringing a video of how to install this and review on my channel so a sub to the channel will be custom thankful so let's go and shut down my device so that i can boot into fast boot mode so i'll go power off and then to boot into fast boot mode just hold volume up volume down and power key all at once until you hit clear a vibration as you can see we are in fast boot mode and you can see my device state is unlocked that means my device has unlocked bootloader so once you are on this screen just connect it to your PC and once you have connected your device to your PC then you can head back to your PC again so we are on our PC again so now just click on this flash all command file you can see over here just double tap and it will give you a do you want to wipe all data as this process will erase everything on your device so make sure you already make the backup somewhere safe so it gives a warning pop up it's really great because if it happens all by itself like you will get you can sometimes forget to take a backup so it will make you take a backup before this process starts so just click on Y if you want to do it and press enter and the whole process will take around 10 to 15 minutes so sit back and relax and you don't have to worry about anything so once it's done your phone will reboot by itself and this it will be written finish total time and press any key to continue on this cmd window press any key to exit out of it so as you can see our device is booting into our system so it's the first port after the installation so it may take some time so if you just wanted to move on to the option OS and if you don't want to lock the bootloader again as you will be using some other custom room or any tweaks in future so this is it for you guys but for others if you want to lock the bootloader again I will suggest you not to set up everything as after locking the bootloader the device will reset again and it will save time so if you want to lock the bootloader just power off your device and disconnect it from the PC by the way 
After I just hold volume of volume down and power key to move into fast boot mode again. And as you can see the device state is unlocked. So at this screen just connect your device again to your PC. And head back to your PC for one last time. So once you're on your PC again, just click on the search icon on top and type in CMD and press enter. Once you do that, just type in fast boot OEM lock and press enter. Then there'll be a pop-up like this on your screen. Just use your volume key to go to the lock the bootloader section and press power key to select it. So once you do that, it will wipe everything and lock your bootloader. And we'll boot back to system. And now you can finally disconnect your device from your PC as you don't need it anymore. As you can see, our device is getting booted up. And as you can see, our device is been booted into system. So I'll set up everything fast and tell you what to do to never ever unlock the bootloader again. So setup has been complete. Now let's go to the settings. Then head to the system. Then as you can see our developer option has been removed from our system. Now if you will enable the build number and go to system settings and go to developer option. Just uncheck this OEM unlocking option over here if you don't want to ever unlock the bootloader restart the device to enable ok and after that even disable the usb debugging as it is already disabled so we don't have to do it now again so i'll show you that our bootloader has been successfully locked and as you can already see here we can now just update our system directly from our settings like as you can see i can move to oxygen os 11 wherever we want Currently we are running on Oxygen OS 10. So just power, I will power off my device to show that the bootloader has been locked. So my device has been powered off. So I'll just hold volume of volume and power key to boot into fast boot. And as you can see our device state has been locked again. And now even if you want your phone is in warranty and if you there is any problem that you want to repair and you would have not doing that because you have unlocked bootloader you can definitely go now everything is solved your phone is unrooted it's not stock android and even the bootloader has been locked so it will be get repaired easily so that's it for this video i hope you liked it i'll see you in the next one SnapTech signing out